what's up guys it's clout and in this video i'm going to show you every single crt method that i have as of 2025 and all of these are just macros so you don't have to make anything from the ground up i'll just be providing a link to them in the description for the first crt effect we have the grunge crt this is a black and white grunge crt effect tutorial this after effects tutorial can easily be translated to davinci so that's what i did but if you don't want the invert, you can just press swap colors on this node right here and you have your regular footage, not inverted. The next one that we have is Ikawa VHS3 and it doesn't lag at all when you preview it and you can change all sorts of controls like the distortion, the way it blends with the footage. The next one is VHS4. VHS4 doesn't really have that many options with it. The next one is Milo or Milo VHS. This one comes with these really nice color bars on the bottom and a nice wavy effect on the top. None of these are plugins, so it's not going to lag when you preview it. Anyway, the next effect is Witiri CRT. This one requires plugins, and it's also the third laggiest effect here. Uh, since it uses Universe plugins and Sapphire and Retro Dither, you're going to have to join my Discord server and download each one respectively. Out of all the VHS plugins, this is actually the one that I use the most. I'm not sure if YouTube compression will show this pretty nicely. It like really affects how the image is built. Uh, the next one is CRT it. This is the laggiest uh, CRT method, but it comes with the most options on it. But out of all the macros, this one really looks like it tries its best to be accurate to how it actually is and how the CRT methods work. It even comes with aspect ratios. It comes with this new thing called overlay input and reflection input and pretty much add in your own overlay and it makes it look like it's reflecting on something. As you can see on the bottom right here, I'm getting a playback of 3.4 frames a second while on every single other effect, I get a playback of 18 frames a second. The next one is CRTCC, and I actually don't know who made this one. This is from a while back. This is one of my first CRT macros, so I have no idea who made this. So if you're out there watching this video, please let yourself be known. But this CRTCC macro doesn't use any plugins, and it's the simplest one that I've seen so far. It's pretty nice. It looks good. There's no lag with it. And then the next one is Procedural CRT by Shark and and now later this is the second laggiest one not as laggy as crt it you know it's up there it comes with a bunch of options where you can change how the pixels are shifted or changed and if i zoom in here you can see how like every single pixel turns into like this box with the lines and then the glow would be like up like this you'll have to turn that down a little bit if you don't want to lose any details in your image it comes with lens distortion built in pixels also distort with it so that looks pretty nice so you can make some pretty creative effects with that. Those are all the CRT methods that I know as of 2025. And yeah, have a nice day.